Somebody sleeping in my bed. Somebody's taking my place. Somebody sleeping in my bed. And you know who it is. Somebody sleeping in my bed, messing in my head. Taking my place, yeah. Sleeping in my bed, messing in my head. Taking my place, yeah. Hey, sleeping in my bed, messing in my head. Taking my place, and you know who it is. <laughs> Let me stop bugging out. I done gave y'all the, the original and the remix to Drew Hill sleeping in my bed. What's up, y'all? This is Ty. Y'all know I like to play around and mess up these songs and act the fool. It is Tubi Tuesday. And I know y'all be like, Ty, you be singing his songs and being annoying. His songs ain't never got nothing to do with the video. This one has something to do with the video, with the review that I'm about to do, kind of, sort of. Um, Tubi Tuesday is when I review a movie that comes on the Tubi app. Y'all like it. Y'all said, you know, thank you, Lamar Simpson. was like, yeah, Ty, keep doing your twos, to be Tuesdays. So shout out to y'all. Last week I gave y'all Deadly Dilf, which was, uh, you know, the, the father. You know, y'all were funny in, them comment, in the comment section with y'all little jokes talking about, Ty, are you a Dilf? Because y'all know what Dilfs are. Dilfs are dads, I would like to F. Like Milfs are moms, I would like to F. I'm not a dilf. I'm just a regular old goofy dad. Ain't no, they ain't, they ain't checking for me. They, they ain't checking for me. <laughs> anyway, tonight's To Be Tuesday movie is this movie called Surprise. But before I get into that, let me give a shout out to my lovely subscribers that are watching these To Be movies with me. Quiet Guy, Lamont Simpson, Randall Brown, Beautiful, Beautifully T. June BLC, Savannah Rivers of Mont Dupree, Simply Be Yourself 100, and all the rest of you wonderful, 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 wonderful people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You keep this channel going and growing, and that's what it's about. I see y'all all enjoyed that uh, la my last review, which was of um, All the Queen's Men. All right, now let's get down to this Tubi movie called Surprise. All right, so it stars Will Coleman, Nunu Thurman, and Key Master Sprawling. I hope I said that name correctly. Oh, Le Master Sprawling. I'm sorry. Sorry. Anyway, it's about this wonderful couple, very successful couple, um, David Gamble and Jenna Gamble. He has a best friend, Greg Jackson. David is happily married. We see him when his friend Greg is right there with him when he proposes to Jenna. They fast forward a few years later. Things seem to be going good. It's David's birthday. His wife comes down, makes him some breakfast, this, that, and the third. But then she gets a phone call on her phone. He picks up the phone, and, and it's his friend Greg. And he's a little suspicious, by the way. But Greg is his best friend. Greg is definitely his best friend, but Greg is a ladies' man. He get all the ladies, you know, he's got different women, different holes and different area codes, you know, stuff like that. So it started on his birthday. This is when he started getting suspicious. His wife is telling him she's got to work. She's got to work real late and she can't make it to his birthday celebration, but she'll make it up to him. And this, you know, this is starting to trigger David. David is like getting, he's not liking that. Then it's really starting to bother him because it seems like everything seems to be connected to his best, best friend, the ladies man, Greg. So they're in the office and he sees Greg hugging on his wife and he approaches Greg. And he's like, yo, what's going on with that? And Greg said, you know, she got to work late. He's like, how you know she got to work late? He was like, dude, because she told me she has to work late. So throughout this entire movie, we're watching as David spirals out of control with his insecurities and his jealousy um, because he's thinking that his wife is cheating on him because she's working late and missing out on things. And like even at his birthday, his little birthday celebration with his friends, they're hanging out and he calls her and then she says, oh, I got to work late again. And she says, oh, I got to take this call. And as she takes the call, he notices his friend Greg over at the bar 
he has to take a call. So he's getting more and more suspicious and getting really frustrated because he feels like his friend Greg is cheating on cheating on cheating with his wife. Now that's some messed up stuff. Listen, you got you should be loyal. Nobody likes a disloyal person, and that hurts to be cheated on. That that's horrible. To, that's a horrible thing. Nobody wants nobody to cheat on them, especially if it's your best friend doing it. But um, it's just he just spiraled out of control so quickly. And then he hires a private investigator. Private investigator looked a lot like Michael McDonald. Like he really did. I when the guy sat down, I said, Dad, he looked like Michael McDonald, the guy who played the private investigator. And he told him, What's the issue? Is she cheating? I can find out this, that, and the third for you. And this is where it gets bad for him because the private investigator gives him some information and tells him, Listen, you're not gonna like this, but she's meeting up with this dude. And the guess who the dude is? She's meeting up with this dude quite often at this bar, blah, 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 at this time. And guess who it is? It's Greg. So I'm like, Dad, but see, listen, y'all. I knew just by the title of this movie. You know this movie was good. Just by the title of this movie, Surprise, I knew. I was like, nah, she not really cheating. Because the, the, the movie, the title kind of gave itself away. Surprise. So I kind of knew what they were going with this. So, you know what, did I say spoiler alert? Spoiler alert, because, you know, some of y'all might not have seen it, so I'm going to spoil it a little bit. But my thing was, I was like, so, he's spiraling out of control so much so that he's being very, he's acting funny at home. He's acting funny towards her. He's acting funny towards his best friend, Greg. And then it doesn't get any better when he overhears his wife, Jenna, saying to Greg, I think I need to come clean. He's starting to get suspicious. Right then I knew, I was like, they ain't really messing around. It's a surprise. They, they're getting, you know, they're working on something to surprise him and help, you know, do something. And that's what it basically was. But he didn't got his little feelings. He's in his feelings and a little hurt by all of this, right? So he decides... He goes back to Michael McDonald. That's what we're going to call the private investigator, Michael McDonald. He goes back to him and he's like, listen, Michael McDonald said, listen, you can never see me again. If we're going to take this to that next level, don't call me, don't bother me. You take it to that next level. That next level is getting a hitman. Dude, you're going to get a hitman. So I'm thinking, oh, is he going to hire this hitman to kill both of them? No. He, getting, he gets the hitman. And puts the hit out on his best friend, Greg. And he's still acting funny towards Greg. And Greg even said, yo, man, you acting real funny towards me. What's wrong with you? You tell me. This, that, and the third. And Greg was like, I would never do anything to hurt you. You're my best friend. And I'm like, right there. I'm like, this, he's, he's messing up. David, you are messing up. So, my thing is, I'm saying to myself, would I kill my best friend? I ain't killing nobody over... Over, I'm not doing that. Over, you cheated. Clearly, that's where you needed to go. That's what you needed to be with. If my wife cheated on me, yes, I would be hurt. I'm not killing nobody. Let let life deal with them. Let karma deal with them. But it would be messed up if it was my best friend, though. If it was with my best friend. So I do understand where he's at in that rage. But it's, he, he wants to kill his best friend. I don't know if I could. Would I know I wouldn't try to kill anybody. I, I haven't. I haven't. None of that. I wouldn't hire no killer or none of that. But the killer told me that, listen, bro, show me a picture. Show me this, that, and the third. He said, and you got to let me know if you really want to go through with this. Because if you don't want to go through, if you go through with this, that's it. Ain't no backseas. Ain't no turning back. And I know where you live. I know all your information. So you better not say nothing. When it's, the job is done, the job is done. So I'm like, I knew where this was going. So unfortunately... He gets, his wife says she has something to tell him. She takes him to this lounge. And surprise, she's throwing this big party for him. And she's like, Greg was helping me with this. And she says, and I got these tickets. We going away. I think they said Hawaii or something like this. Now, see, his head was already filled up with things because the private investigator told him, yeah, she was getting tickets to go away with somebody, this, that, and the third. But I knew, I was like, I knew what this was just by the title that she wasn't really cheating. Got the surprises. She was preparing a surprise for him with his best friend. And I saw one of those television shows did something like that. One of those episodes, some show I saw did something similar like this where the person snapped 
They thought their spouse was cheating when the spouse was actually just trying to surprise them. And that's what happened here. So now we got everybody here at the party and all this stuff. And she's saying all these wonderful things. She's like, we is great. And David is panicking. Because he know he done put out this hit on his boy. So he puts, but now I'm like, you can't call the hit man back. I think he tried to call the hit man back. I think. Somebody he called and the number was busy. Then he tried to call David. Then he, then he, um, then he got, tried to call Greg. Then he finally got in touch with Greg. But once he got in touch with Greg, Greg was like, yeah, I'm on my way, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, I would have told Greg, yo, Greg, go do something. I don't know. You, I would have warned him or something. But he says nothing to him. I guess he's thinking, okay, maybe they was the hitman wasn't really no real hitman. A few minutes later, he gets the text from the hitman, the job is done. And he just starts panicking. And then, you know, they're at the party. He realized the job is done. He realized, oh, my God, I put a hit out on my best friend who was helping my wife prepare a getaway and a surprise party for me. And he collapses and his wife is like, David, David, David. And it ends right there. So we don't know if he died himself, if David died from the guilt and the had a heart. We don't know. We just see he collapsed. And it ended right there. That ending, you know, these Tubi movies with these endings, these endings be pissing me off. That ending kind of pissed me off too. Give me some closure here or something. Let me see, you know, let us know what happened to David. We know Greg clearly was killed, but let us know what happened to David. But you know what would have been a, a good twist too? If he would have, that they would have said it's done, this, that, and the third, and it really wasn't done, and then Greg would have walked in there as... David then had the heart attack and died. That would have been a clever twist too, but no. Looks like Greg is really dead. Greg is dead. And maybe David's dead now too. But I thought it was a really good film. But it was kind of predict. I kind of knew where it was going, but I did enjoy it. So that's all I have for now. Tell me your thoughts if you watched. Surprise! Tell me your thoughts, how you felt about it, what you think about it. What do you, would you hire a hitman to kill somebody that was uh, cheating with your spouse even though you know i gotta say this before i go you yes you can be mad with your best friend but your best friend ain't the one that uh, made the vows your wife is the one that made the vows with you so you should really be mad with her so why you want to kill him and not your wife she's the one that he didn't make no vows he didn't make a commitment to you yeah i get it. he's your best friend i get that but she's the one that made the vows tell me your thoughts down below that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.